Alright, what's up guys? Is there here? We're here for another deck profile, and this time we're doing Blue Wave. Uh, so this was the uh, this was the pushed archetype for Aqua Force in set five, I think it was yeah, set five, right? Yeah, that, that was set five. Yeah, this is the archetype that got released in set five. Um, I'm gonna be real. This deck is basically just a reskin version of Lambros uh, or Tavas. Uh, so other than just get the list, and if you take a look at this list, and you take a look at my uh, Tavas list back from uh, set two, uh, it's basically the same thing. You said there's like two card difference, so uh, I won't take too in depth to go over all of this. So I'll just quickly go over uh, some all the cards that are already in those lists. So first off, the starter is the Eric. Eric is Eric. I don't. Personally, value the other starter that's that's supposed to go with uh, that's supposed to go with this deck. Uh, gets like, I think it gives you like a draw and it gives you like it gives you rank out of crit. I think it's like cool and all, but like, I personally value the consistency of the Eric. Uh, let's you search, search for your main ride. Let's you search for your um, your Dio for uh, for Lambros turns. As you can see, I'm only playing two of the uh, only playing two of uh, this dude, the uh, the uh, the Tetra Boil. Still playing four Lambros, so. Uh, uh, it's fine, the Dia is still pretty important, and finding main right is still obviously important, so that's why for Eric. You play one of the one of the Tactic Sailor, this was the uh, mainstay 4 for Thavas, but uh, in this deck, uh, there was a really other really good grade 1, as you see here, uh, that we play 4, so we only have room for one Tactic Sailor. Uh, Counter Charge PG, Stride Fodder, pretty standard stuff. Uh, Stride Fodder can search us our 1 of, this time, the 1 of Thavas, in case we need to draw something else. Uh, worst case scenario with this deck, if you... Uh, <coughs> Don't draw the Anger Boil, you just ride into the Thavas instead, and you just play like regular old Lambros, because the rest of the deck is still basically the same thing. And the uh, new addition to the, to the deck, as opposed to, the, as, as opposed to Thavas, is the... Uh, uh, I, forgot, I forgot this dude's name. Uh, give me one second, let me find this dude's name real quick. This dude's name is the Bright Shooter, the Lue Soldier Bright Shooter. So, his skill is uh, Wave 4. So, Wave is Aqua, Force key, Aqua Force's keyword, but... Uh, uh, let's be real. Uh, wave is basically just problem-solving text. It just shortens the uh, the, uh, the X battle or more. So, uh, wave fourth or more. So, meaning uh, 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 that meaning if it's the fourth battle or more of that turn, you get the effect. So, uh, wave fourth battle or more at the end of the battle. The unit boosted. If your Vanguard is a blue wave, uh, you can add a grade three from your drops into your hand. So. Um, the good thing with this card, as opposed to something like uh, Tactic Sailor, is that it doesn't need to hit, uh, and it grabs a very a it's a selective plus one, meaning uh, you can grab back your at worst Stride Fodder, but uh, but in most situations you grab back a Dia, meaning that if your opponent even they kill off a Dia, you can just grab one back. It's really good. So uh, honestly, I think the reason to play uh, Blue Wave over Thavas, uh, I'm not saying the deck is better. I'm just saying. Uh, if there was a reason for you to want to play this deck over Blue, is that is that uh, the Bright Shooter is a very powerful card. I think this is, I think that if there's one, if there's a reason you're playing Blue Wave, it's because of this card. This card is really really good because um, by uh, being on a Blue Wave, your main ride is the Anger Boil in this deck. Uh, if you're on the Anger Boil, um, every turn you can make sure you have either Stride Fodder for the following turn or a Dio to add back to your hand. And most importantly, uh, on your kill to, on your turn, where your points already at five and you're just uh, pushing and they survive. Uh, with Tactic Sailor, you could never draw off it because you, you're not you're never hitting. But with this card, um, even if they survive, as long as you boost it and it's fourth out a little more, you get to add cards back to your hand to uh, for a follow up for next one, which is really powerful. So, yeah, uh, if, there, if there's a reason to play this like, it's because of the uh, Bright Shooter. And the Grade Twos, it's all the same thing from Davos. Four Basil, oh, uh, not you. Four Basil, you're a swapper. Uh, one Valeria, just like a fifth Algos kind of. Uh, speaking of Algos, four Algos and four High Tide. Uh, high Tides, uh, just basically just a uh, 14k attacker, I'll go 14k attacker, 14k attacker also draws one, Valeria retired instead of drawing, and battles just a swapper, so, uh, uh, yeah, uh, not much else here, uh, not much to say, this is just the standard lineup, uh, this deck still, it still does go into title board as its first ride, meaning, uh, these cards are also very valuable to scale on that said title board turn, so I don't really see a reason to play the other cards that are supposed, that, uh, they pushed to be here, the, the other card that it's, um, they probably wanted you to play with the Foy boss. The uh, his skill would be the third uh, would be rear guard circle uh, third third wave only when the unit attacks the vanguard. If your vanguard the blue wave, CB one plus two K in standard. So it's like a it's like a title assault, but better for this deck. But uh, I personally just do not value the Foy boss very much, so I personally choose to not play it at all on my list. 
If you do, you probably cut down like the one Valeria and like some amount of high tides probably just to fill it in. Or maybe even Basil's because it does uh, the uh, the anger because the um, the Tetra Bullet turn doesn't actually require you to need a, to have a uh, fourth hack enabler, so that's pretty nice. So if you wanted to play that, you can play that, but I personally just rather play like uh, overall more solid lineup that also that also facilitates the Lambos line. So yeah, that's it for your twos. Three threes are triggers, I guess. Four heal guards, self-explanatory. For Dia, he's your swapper. Uh, again, you need him for Lambros, so that's how you play him. Uh, one Thava, searchable ride, um, just backup ride kind of thing. But basically, just cheers this floor one up. And finally, the main ride of the deck is now the for this deck is the um, Anger Boil. So his GB2 skill is basically irrelevant because uh, he needs he needs to be the Vanguard. So you can basically ignore this. But uh, for the purpose of the video, I'll go over its skill is GB2 uh, second wave only. Is this unit attack hits the Vanguard? So that choose on your regards to any give it 10k. So, if you notice here, the skill basically does not exist at all whatsoever because, uh, what you call it? Uh, it's second wave, meaning uh, if your opponent has double intercept, you can never hit here with this because if they have, if they are on second wave, it means that uh, rear guard to rear to rear. And then this card has to connect to Vanguard, and if one has a single intercept on the board, this skill will never prompt. So uh, this is this GB2 skill is completely and utterly worthless. I don't see, I don't even know why this line attack is here. This skill will basically never come up. And it's on hit, so your opponent will have to be at four for this. So the only situa situation where this would ever work is the opponent's at four. They have exactly one intercept. You swing the intercept into the rear, and you go Vanguard first. That's the only situation situation where this would ever come up. But at that point, you might as well just try into something else instead. So. Uh, yeah, uh, useless GB2 skill, but its other skill is very useful on for specifically the uh, Tetra Boil turn. So uh, the, the second skill is when your Tetra Boil, the, the GR stride that, that, that uh, is in, in Arctic with this card, goes on top of it when you stride it. Your Vanguard gets the following ability, second wave only, when the student attacks the Vanguard, choose two rears and stand them. And you might wonder, you might ask yourself, if its GB2 skill is useless, how, why is this skill useful? Uh, that's because the GR actually has a skill that lets this uh, this portion of the skill function, so we'll go over that right now. So that's it for the raid threes so for the triggers. And finally, the new addition is the Tetra, the Tetra Boil. So its skill is a uh, wave uh, exact uh, wave two. Uh, when the student attacks, it can attack ignoring intercepts. So uh, because it can ignore intercepts, it can actually connect with its uh, with the uh, with the skill that the that the Anger Boil uh, gives to the Tetra Boil. Then you uh, it can actually stand something. So. Uh, is that and then the other skill is GB2 uh, waves one through three, so uh, I, a first, second, or third wave. When the student attacks the Vanguard, you have a blue wave heart, CB1, G flip, so you need, you need two copies of this card to make this card work. Uh, to get neg one drive in the fallen building to under turn, fourth battle only at the end of battle, at the end, at, at the end of battle that your rear guard attacked the Vanguard, discard a card and stand this unit and draw a card. So. How the usual play for this works is you swing like a column or just a, a, a card into the, an intercept. Uh, you are now on second wave, so now uh, the Tetra Bowl can swing a Vanguard, ignore intercept. So that's uh, second wave, and then since it is uh, since second wave is waves first two, first through three, or uh, one two th one through three, uh, your second skill prompts giving you the ability to pay a cost to gain the skill to uh, restand on fourth wave. So uh, rear in. Vanguard into Vanguard, uh, you gain the skill, uh, and then uh, and since uh, it is the wave, uh, and since it is wave two, your uh, the stride bonus skill also comes in to stand the rear the, the rear column that already swung, and then once the Vanguard's on the swing, you go uh, rear into rear, that's third wave, and then uh, since you're out of intercepts now, your uh, the column you restood or the other side also is into Vanguard, that is the fourth battle, and since it is the fourth battle exactly, your Vanguard can now choose to pay cost to restand. So that's how the Usual turn goes. It's usually rear to rear, Vanguard to Vanguard, stand the rear column, rear to rear, rear guard to Vanguard, Vanguard stands, Vanguard to Vanguard. This truly is the uh, usual combo of how uh, uh, the Tetra Boil works. And then next off, for Lambros, Lambros is Lambros. This card's still the best ride in Aqua Force. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, that's Lambros. Title board's your first ride, and Harmonix is here as one of. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no, not too different from the Thavos, let's just uh, honestly, it's a different flavor of Thavos. Uh, usually, you use the uh, Tetra Boil if your opponent's around like three, around three damage to uh, just to push damage while also just uh, without needing like swappers and stuff, so you can save those for your Lambros turn. Uh, but uh, 
for the most part. Uh, the Tedra Boil is straight up less lethal than the Lambros. Lambros checks more checks than the um, than the Tetra Boil. So Tetra Boil is usually just used as a push turn. Uh, you see, in both the games I have to show you guys, you do see that I use the Tetra Boil, but I will say that uh, in both those both instances where I used it, I used it just for the sake of showing it off. But I but uh, Lambros 100% there was more optimal than Tetra Boil in almost every way in those situations. So uh, that kind of goes to show you um, how good Tetra Boil is. If I only use it just to show it off instead of the fact that, uh, but uh, Lambros is actually optimal in those situations. And uh, the question that I'm probably get uh, in the comments is uh, which deck is better, this or Thavas? I will say Thavas is probably the better deck. This is more fun, but there are uh, reasons to play this deck over Lambros. Um, one reason is the Brave Shooter is a very good card. This card only works with the Blue Wave Vanguard, meaning uh, this card only works in this deck. Number two, uh, the other reason is that um, the Tetra Boil does not need a fourth attack enabler to do its full combo. Uh, but uh, as opposed to something like uh, Thavas, so if you want to go to Lambros, you have to have the fourth attack enabler to do it. Uh, but I will say that uh, that point is honestly probably invalid as well, just because of the fact that uh, Commander Thavas exists, and that just gets you four attacks regardless of what happens, because of. Uh, you give something the ability attack from back row, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, uh, this deck is just a cool, like a side grade to Aqua Force. Basically, still the same deck, but uh, you have something kind of different to play with. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this deck profile. Uh, so in case you guys after this, as per usual, I did make sure to show off the the, the Tetra Boy instead of just going to making it instead of just going for Lambros. So I hope you enjoy those those games, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.